we concreted one half of this workshop and then we never really got around to doing the other half because there were more important jobs that we had to crack on with the house. But it's finally time to tackle the other half. We're gonna do it slightly different this time. We're gonna use a concrete truck and a pump. So it should go quicker, but we're still gonna dig everything out and then fill it in with hardcore in the same way. So this ground is rock hard. We're struggling to get the teeth to dig in properly. It doesn't help that they're extremely blunt and also really loose. We're gonna try and use the old Festool AGC18 to grind a sharper tip on each one. So we only got one and a half tips out of this battery yesterday, so it's time for a new one. Thank you. 
So that is 10 tons of hardcore. It works out about 250 euros, including delivery. We have the hardcore in and that's been compacted and we have the shuttering up on the sides so that's the finished floor level and because it was so dark to film particularly in this corner over here I've installed these two LED garage lights that Sansi sent me which is quite handy. So I know there's going to be a lot of comments about rebar and why we haven't got any on the main pad and that's because we don't typically use rebar for a pad which is less than five inches and this is going to be around 100 mil so there's no need to put rebar throughout but we do use rebar when we're connecting to existing concrete pads or footings
So now what I'm going to do is get some PVA glue, which is diluted in water, and just put it along the concrete pad. And that should basically slow down how quickly this concrete absorbs the moisture from the new concrete and should mean there's a better bond. Everything is now prepared for the concrete. It should be arriving tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. By 9 a.m. we'll have it all poured and then it will just be waiting for it to dry so we can trowel finish it. And my dad has come up with this contraption to help tamp it down. So we'll see how that works as well. and creamy.
very wet. So this is the morning after we poured the slab. This is the right time to do any control joint. And a control joint is a cut which goes about a quarter to a third through the concrete and it's meant to provide the, the guide for when the concrete cracks because a slab of this size is almost inevitably going to crack. So if you create a, a straight line cut, then hopefully you stop it cracking and see if it's going to handle it. So I've set the guard up so that the depth is about 25 mil and then I'm going to use this scaffold board as a guide rail. 